Using a Pajagi is a great way to wrap items for gift giving. So today I'm going to show you two different ways to wrap a cylinder. So for the first way, I'm going to be using this four patch Pajagi that I've made and I will lay it on the diagonal and then align this cylinder right in the middle of the Pajagi. Just a quick disclaimer, this method wouldn't work if your cylinder was a bottle. So if you have a bottle of oil or wine or something like that, you wouldn't use this method. There are other ways to wrap bottles, but something that is a cylinder that doesn't matter if it gets tipped around. So I will line that up and then I will bring the bottom corner up to meet the other corner. And then I will just roll that up and then when it's rolled, I will gather together the two sides and then just tie that in a knot. So this is a nice way to wrap something, but if you had a Pajagi that's a little bit bigger, there is another option that you could use. So I'm going to unroll this and I have another Pajagi and this was one that I got on the Korean textile tour from the Okamoka studios when we were there. Um, everybody on the tour got something to take with us and we're given this Pajagi to carry it in. And we can see this one is just a little bit bigger. It's maybe six inches bigger, but that six inches will give us um, a, enough size to do this fun variation. So it starts off in the same way. We line up our item with the middle. We bring over opposite corners and then we roll that up and gather the sides. But this time, because the corners that we have are longer, we can twist them around each other and then wrap them all the way around the item and then tie it. So this method of wrapping is even more secure to hold it all together and it gives a really nice finish. So have fun wrapping your items in fabric this season. For more wrapping tutorials for different shapes, be sure to check the link below. Mm -hmm.